What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K. Back again with another one right before the end of the year, going into the next decade. But before we celebrate all that, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal what? I am not too proud to ask, even going into 2020. So let's get into it. All right. So we kind of got breaking news, I believe, or potentially breaking news. That's because um, on the heels of Microsoft doing an unveiling of the Xbox Series X console, in which many assume will be a series of different consoles at launch. On the heels of that, there's been a lot of buzz around power and teraflops and what this is going to mean um, as far as next-gen game. All right. And for several months on that front, we haven't heard anything from Sony. Well, on the heels of their silence, Sony has finally come through and dropped a couple of hints. Now, first and foremost, they had released something to where they said at CES... Sony's always there. It's the uh, Consumer Electronics Show. Did I, did I get that right, y'all? Let me know in the, <laughs> let me know in the comment section, which I know y'all will if I got that right. The Consumer Electronics Show, right? I ain't into the Bibble Watts and all that stuff. Anyway, um, normally their Sony doesn't get into the gaming stuff, right? But they tell you that Sony is unveiling a, a unique vision into the future, all right? And someone here on Twitter appropriately says you know they use that term peering into the future when they're about to unveil the playstation they did it with the playstation 4 but a lot of y'all could be looking at that and y'all could be saying mm2k you're connecting dots that don't exist come on man take your metamucil old man and relax sit back in your in your rocking chair and, and chill out a little bit but here's the thing on top of that you now got the homie Corey Barrog, all right creative director of the last god of war he's now going to be attending ces for the first time ever all right and this story is coming to us via the playstationbrus.com big ups to them all right so they say this is how the story reads while these two stories may not have no connection at all we find it mighty interesting that Corey Balrog is attending CES for his first time ever after Sony warns us that the future is coming during their CES 2020 press conference first off we should state that Sony normally doesn't give the PlayStation that much love at their CES pressers instead in the past, they've given all their spotlight to their newest TVs, phones, tablets, robo dogs, and whatever is tickling their fancy at the current moment. But you see, 2020 is different. When Sony updated their site stating to fans of their brand of electronics that the future is coming, the first thought that came to mind to many gamers is some kind of PlayStation 5 reveal at CES 2020. Like we mentioned earlier, Sony normally doesn't give PlayStation much love at CES until now. God of War creative director Corey Balrog took this took uh, to his Twitter account tonight to let it be known that he will be attending CES 2020. This will be the very first time for the acclaimed creator. You can see here in the tweet, he says, going to experience my first CES in a little over a week. Hopefully I see lots of robots, all right? And the article finishes off by saying CES uh, 2020 starts on January 7th and runs until January 10th, 2020. Sony's press conference goes down on January the 6th, uh, 2020 at 1700 PST. If there's any updates, gaming news shows, of course, the PlayStation bros them over there. They're going to do it. And then we at Triple B, PNTS Network, you know what I'm saying? We, we're going to be on top of it as well. All right. So with that said... A lot of news there, or a lot of potential news there about PlayStation not resting on his laurels and say, oh, we got something to show you too. You know what I mean? And I find it mighty interesting also if you think about this dynamic. I got a lot of my Xbox brethren, man, they chatting it up about those Bibble Watts and, and compute units, right? They, they excited, man. Uh, but uh, depending upon Sony's reveal and how they do this going into 2020, well, I think we'll solidify if that even matters at all. I mean, I get it. This is different from the X release, you know, 
where the X was like during the latter part of a generation where PlayStation already had a stranglehold and we're going into the new generation fresh. I get that. But what people forget too is they forget about the business deals that are made behind the scenes. I said in an early business video, I mean in an early video, excuse me, that it's not gonna come down to these bibliwaks and compute units solely. It's going to, the, the biggest factor is gonna be the development talent and the deals that are struck behind the scenes with these publishers. I can, I can tell you right now, we know how Sony gets down. If they get all the marketing rights to a lot of these big name uh, AAA third party games, they're gonna do what they can to ensure that they're not fully maxed out, you know what I'm saying, on the other systems, okay? We, we, we've seen it before and we'll see it again. So, very interesting. Let me know what you guys think might be happening. Do you think there's gonna be a PlayStation 5 reveal? Do you think that they're going to really drop the hammer on the 9.2 teraflops of the Bimba Watts and all that stuff that's going around here? Does that power talk even matter? And are you guys just excited to possibly hear reveal? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. Because like I always tell y'all, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I have to say, you know what I'm saying? You can check me out on various platforms. You can check me out with the Broadband Bullies. Check me out with PNTS Network. You can check me out on the Hard Knock Digital Culture at hndc.live and you can also check me out on stadia dosage you know what i'm saying i'm on the corner of every boulevard you know what i mean with that being said y'all have a great new year's and you have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace